Well, welcome back to the Undervalued Investor YouTube channel, where today we're going to give you a brief introduction to Cellside Corp with a recent interview from the CEO that is honestly jaw-dropping on the forefront of a head and neck cancer drug in the biopharmaceutical sector. As this company's been trading up 91% over the last six months, with a recent drawdown of about 20% thanks to uh, some recent financing, as we'll reveal once we get into the news. It does trade, again, on the New York Stock Exchange under CVM. Just take a quick peek, and if this is a conversation you'd appreciate, as always, hit that like button because we believe there's some huge potential with the company like this. Now, they are working on a head and neck cancer that is called Multikine. This is the phase three pivotal drug um, that is really propelling the stock as of recent. Now, the company's CEO recently did an interview, and I want to play you an anecdotal clip um, that I think is almost insanely profound that uh, it's going to have some real measures on helping people's lives. So take a quick listen. We've talked about this before. The biggest problem for a biotech company is does the drug work or not? Well, we did a very long, massive phase three study in head and neck cancer. And we know that if you select the right patients, you have massive survival benefit. Survival is the gold standard. You can't do I mean, honestly, think about all the people who've died of cancer. All they care about, do I live or not, right? And so the five-year survival without our drug, with standard of care, is 45%. With our drug, it's 73%. There's not a little bit. This is a massive difference, right? It almost doubles your chance of living. At five years, it really means something. And safety, very, very nice. Cancer drugs kill people. We don't have any of these issues. We don't have toxicity, hair falling out, people turning green, throwing up heart murmurs, you name it, we don't have it. So therefore, you just have to do what the regulators tell you to do. You prove that your drug works, you help masses of people and also make a lot of money. Now, outside of this being the most pivotal aspect of their, you know, their drug campaigns, because they do have some other ones here, but this is the leading indicator as it stands today. And just taking a look at the news that's been helping propel the stock. Again, that drop, the drawdown in stock price was caused by a $7.75 million public offering of common stock. But again, this helps perpetuate uh, this company into the future and get these kind of drugs to market to help people, uh, which again, could lead to further progress in the stock appreciation. But Cellside completed the commissioning of its multi-kind manufacturing facility for commercial scale production of the head and neck cancer drug. Again, this was just uh, here in 2024. So really recent news And the European Medicine Agency grants CELSI a waiver of strict pediatric requirements, clearing the path towards marketing authorization, authorization for multi-kind. So this company is trying to set the, the framework right now for some expansion in a multitude of countries. Um, and they have the data that is absolutely supporting it, making this probably um, a lot more easier and advancing it a lot quicker than perhaps some other drugs drugs, considering the lack of side effects that CellSci has. But this was just a brief introduction. I just wanted to offer a framework about a company that I believe is on the forefront of something incredible. But I'll pass the question off to you. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below.